Hi everybody, this is John from USA Mondo. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome. Today I have another video for you guys. Today's video is how to fill out form DS260. If you want to know how to fill it out, stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mondo. Okay guys, how to fill out form DS260 on um, part one so the first thing you're going to do is to go to this website i'm going to provide a link for this website on the description area so you can check it out um and uh, you uh, on this page uh, you type in the case number so the case number is on the letter the nvc national visa center send you so you're going to find that case number they provide that case number type in the case number and click continue so once you click continue, you come to a page similar to this one. This is kind of a sample page, which is like, like the old uh, version of the form on uh, DS260. Uh, but uh, the new, even the new one, uh, uh, gonna re uh, uh, on the new one, you're going to be required to provide uh, information like the case number, information, the invoice number. And then also you select if you are petitioner, the applicant, or the or the agent so the even the new one the new page will look like this is look it will look a little bit different but we ask you these three information okay once you provide those information like the invoice id um you will receive that um in the letter as well once you pay the the fees you will receive the the id uh the invoice id so you can use the one with the uh, affidavit of support or the one with uh, immigrant uh, visa application fee okay once you provide those information, you click on sign in. So once you click on, on continue, you will come to a page on which is going to be, like I say, it's going to be a little bit different than this page, but you will see the same information, the choice of address and agent. So if you have to choose agent, this is where you choose agent. So if you choose agent before, you will see the agent uh, or name or uh, here, or uh, we say uh, completed because you already work on, on that part. And then you will see information about affidavit of support if it's already paid and applicant information, which is on uh, information about uh, uh, immigrant visa, uh, we will see pay as well. And then from there, uh, to start the, uh, the form itself, you click on start now on, on the new form. Uh, you will come to this page here, which is immigrant visa and alien registration application. Um, so before you start it, you have to uh, Check this box right here on the bottom. You check the box and then you click on continue. Okay, this is where you're gonna provide your information. You the applicant, you're gonna provide your information. So this one is personal information one. You provide your uh, last name, which is surname, or uh, your given name over here, which is a first name. And then uh, if you use um your name is like in Chinese, Vietnamese, whatever, different than the English one, English one. Um or like a regular al uh, alphabet we use then you're going to provide that in your native language but if it, no, it does not apply then you check over here it does not apply then from there if you uh have you ever used an uh, other name so if you use other name uh, other than the one you provide then you're going to provide if it's yes then you could provide information uh about that name okay but if no then you click no uh, you check no then from there you check your sex male or female you select your current uh, marital status which uh, if it's single you check singles if it's uh, married check married and then you provide information about the date of birth on uh, your city of birth your state of birth your country of birth from there you're going to move to personal information too okay this is area for personal information too so in on the new form i don't think you have a um, beneficial you don't have beneficial id on uh, area no more you will jump straight to your nationality so for the purpose of this video on the choose afghanistan so if you if you, your nationality is french you choose french uh if it's um uh germany uh you choose on germany and then your document if it's passport you select passport if you travel document you select travel document and you provide the document id okay and then uh, the country on uh, uh, that issue the passport or travel document the issuing date and the expiration date of the document and then from there you're going to move to another question here do you hold or have you held 
any national the other than the one you indicate above if it's yes then you provide the information above or you provide the information here or the the, the nationality or if it's no then you move to the next one so if it's here you provide the information yes and then you provide the passport number order now from there we're going to move to uh, address and phone so on um, on this page you're going to provide information about your address your physical address you provide the information here the street address the name of the street the city the state your zip code and then you select the the country of the re or region and the, the date uh, you uh, re you provide information about the present one so basically uh, you put on uh, the day you st uh, you start living on address to present okay so um and then you're gonna move to uh, previous address so you start with the current one and you move to previous one okay you move to a previous one uh, over here have you lived anywhere other than this address since the age of 16 if it's yes then you're gonna provide information if it's no then you're gonna move to the next step so if it's here you provide information as well the street city state or uh, zip code the country and the day you live on that address from which day to what day you provide information as well and then your phone number information you provide phone number primary phone number secondary phone number and then work phone number so this tool does not if it does not apply then you check it does not apply and then your email address and then from there you're going to move to mailing and address and permanent address so if your mailing address is different than your physical address then you're going to provide information about your mailing address over here okay then from there you're going to provide information about your permanent address as well where you're going to live in the united states do you have an address in the united states where you intend to live if it's yes then it's going to provide information about that address as well and from there on the next video uh, it's going to be about family so in the next video we're going to talk about family which is go video on how to fill up on form ds260 part 2 that's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it. Learn something from it. If you know somebody who needs to watch this video, please share with that person. If you want to see more videos like this one, all you got to do is subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.